recording. Okay, here we are, our first uh, televised JV game. We're at uh, Nevers Field in South Windsor, Weathersfield Eagles versus South Windsor Polecats, Bobcats. Earlier you saw Chris Jablanca flew out to short and Bob O'Leary fly down first base area. This is David Thomas. Falling off a <coughs> lot of pitches. The great weather that we've all been bragging about is gone. Windy up here, temperatures will be dipping to close to freezing tonight. Thomas launches one up but gets a little ahead of himself out to right field. Eagles go down, one, two, three. Bobcats coming up to bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shortstop, number six. How do I have these things come in? All right, are we on yet? Oh, great. So I'm criticizing you once again on here. Right. See, people are going to hate me for picking on you. <laughs> All right, we have no idea who's coming up for South Windsor, nor do we care. So we will set the defense for you. Alex Moon Mullins is on the mound, thrown from the left side because he's left-handed. Behind the plate, we've got Zach Rosa over at third base, even though we're not scanning because the cameraman is performing a second function. Two balls is David Thomas at shortstop, Kevin Smith. Second base is Dennis Harrington. First base is Matt Garcia. Out in the left field, Michael Leary. Center field, Chris Jablanca. And right field is Mike Orsini. Back to hole number 13 for South Windsor. Coach Matt Rondinone at the helm today. Later today, we're going to have a uh, foul ball over here. Just missing our cameraman, who's so athletic he ducked and missed it. Uh, we will be, the varsity will be playing over at, let's see, if this is Nevers, the other one is Volunteer Field. That's their even nicer stadium. Another foul ball. It's going to be out of play. All right, the sun has gone out. And it's starting to get cold here. Is this still the first batter? Holy Christmas. It's going to be a long game. Mullen's got to be up to nine pitches already. Oh, drives a big one, but there's a lot of air under it. Jablanca goes back and comes back in. Pop fly out. Chris Jablanca with the catch. Next up, number 17 from South Windsor, Coach Rondinone. Moving his outfielders around, Coach Chavon sitting on the bucket. Attendance for Weathersfield today is seven plus the camera crew, making it nine. South Windsor is not much better.
with 12. This guy's not giving me any counts, but that was a strike. Pop fly in the infield, Harrington calling for Mimi, and he makes the put out. Mullen inducing a lot of pop flies, makes it easier for his fielders. Brings up the number three hitter. Number nine, Mullen comes in high with a ball. One on one count. Mullen, part of the infamous Windmill Hill gang. A lot of players seem to reside up there. Two and one. Another fly, pop fly, O'Leary coming in quickly, calls everybody off and makes the catch. So one, two, three inning for the Polecats. Eagles coming up to bat in the top of the second. Okay, for the Eagles, number four, Zach Rosa, the catcher, leading off in the cleanup spot. One on one, yeah. on deck, Matt Garcia, also part of the Windmill Hill gang. Rosa follows one off. It looks like the, since the last time I've been here, they cleared out a lot of brush and it's probably paying for itself because a lot of balls go out in the woods here. Cameraman's starting to shiver a bit, but he will not put on his sweatshirt. Hi, right, so looks like it's two and two. Rosa, a little blip, second baseman going back, going back, makes the catch behind first base. We see nothing from either team except pop flies. All right, first baseman, Matt Garcia. Also one of our pitchers, seeing some action at first today. Our crowd just improved by three. <laughs> the unpaid Weathersfield crowd. <laughs> Look at Harrington. He doesn't even read the no parking signs. That's what oh, guess what? High pop fly, short bat, short stop drifts over. Two outs. Stephen Ballard, the DH, EH, EH, they have EHs down in the JV level. Also a member of the infamous Windmill Hill Gang.
guess what? Fly ball. Shortstop calling everybody off. Makes the catch. Another one, two, three inning. Another pop fly. South Windsor coming up to bat in the bottom of the second. Score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Cleanup hitter for South Windsor leading off. Bottom of the second. And guess what? Another high pop fly. Kevin Smith under it for the put out. Number 25 for South Windsor Polecats. Quick strike by Mullen. Falls on off, 0-2 count. Curveball here. See if Mullen's got one that can fool him. Nope. Lays off at one and two count. Ooh. Almost bit for that. Two two. Oh, he got him. Oh, yeah. Nice curve. Number six batter, lefty, number 14. Coach Ryan the Gnome moving everybody over into the more to the middle. Evidently, Mullen's fastball is coming in quickly. Oh, got him before. <laughs> yes, this guy's nickname is Wrong Way, opposite field hitter. I tell you, though, some of the varsity coaches got our guys pegged. Oh, yeah. Some of these teams, they, they do send guys out. You see some of these guys with no outs and they're in on the grass and they're like. They know what we got. I can always help them. There's a strike. This, oh, won't put up. Yes, he did. 2-1. Thanks. About time. Hops one in to Rosa, 3-1. Well, that looked good, but not good to the um, walks him. That is the first base runner, and here comes another lefty, number one. Mullen keeping him honest. Tosses over. Who do we have in the lens here, the pitcher or the batter? I got everybody. Oh, you do? Can you focus on that movie star up in the bleachers there? I was wondering who she was. Oh! Wait a minute. That hit him? That? Oh, catch your interference. Hey, we have a color analyst. I love this. Oh! 
and it's uh, none other than Joe Jones, <laughs> who evidently left work early without his wife's permission. Catcher interference. I'm loving it. And that brings number 16 up to bat. So with no hits, South Windsor Polecats got two base runners. Oh, sharp one down the third baseline. One run will score, O'Leary up with it. Good throw in. Pulls the uh, runners at first and second. So the bottom of the order producing for South Windsor. Brings up their ninth hitter. Number something, can't tell. A pop fly out to right. Mike Corsini makes the catch. So a walk, catcher's interference in a single, and the uh, South Windsor takes a one nothing lead. Going to the top of the third. All right, is this the pugster coming up to bat? Thank you. Andrew Puglisi. One of them's EHing and the other one's DH. All right. swings through one. Oh, gets out there a little early, lofts one up, right fielder with the catch. This will bring Kevin Smith, the shortstop, up to the bat, to the plate. Eagles got to get out of this fly ball mode that they're in. It's seven straight flies. Smitty looks at one for a strike. Ground ball. He's got some legs. A shortstop up with it. Smitty beats him. Oh, yeah. First hit for the Eagles. Smitty growing inches every week. It pays off as he gets, gets here. Just in time. Brings up the ninth batter, Dennis Harrington, second base. Kevin Smith, who was earlier this year up for a cup of coffee with the varsity, takes off, and he is. Oh! We're going to have to review that on camera, buddy, but. Caught stealing on a close one. <laughs> now with two outs, Harrington. Balls one back. Right fielder Mike Orsini on deck. One on one. Harrington, slow roller through the infield. Third baseman cuts it off. Bobbles that. Harrington hustles it out. Hey. 
right fielder Mike Orsini. Fastball for strike. Orsini follows one back into the woods. <clears throat> you can't keep those, you know. Our cameraman making a mad dash for it. <clears throat> Good thing you're on it, Pugs. He was going to keep it. And another foul ball. Harrington off and running. Two down, Chris Chipolanka on deck. <clears throat> Pick off, that's his C move, just keeping him honest. Oh, Barsini, nice one, drives out right to right field like he had a book on him. Good contact. So, at the bottom of three, it's South Windsor up one nothing as the Eagles muster a hit and an error, but no runs. We head to the bottom of three with the top of the order coming up for the Bobcats. Okay, number 10 in the batting order for South Windsor. Number three. Quick strike by Moon. Cold caps with a one nothing lead. One and one. Wind picking up, fearless cameraman showing no signs of hypothermia. Two strikes, one and two count. Moon sneaks one in. Oh, boy, that looked good. Two, two count. Ball still 2 2. Nope. Full count. Sun coming back up. Oh, he gets him swinging for second strikeout of the day. Now we should be going back to the top of the order, and we are. Flew out to center his last time at bat. One down. Strike one. Moon starting to loosen up and starting to feel it here. Oh, a little low, one one. Ground ball gets through the infield. South 
Goblins, their second hit of the game. Number 17 flew out to Harrington at second base last inning, or the first inning rather. One down, man on first. Looks like a strike and it is. Mullen keeping him close. Mullen steps off. Varsity game today. Uh, this one started at quarter of four. Varsity's gonna be playing at four. Moon comes in with one, a little high. One to one count as the crowd continues to pour in. Mullen, quick one. Yeah. A little quicker he had him. Fouled off. Mullen ahead of him. Two strikes, one ball. Runner drifting off first base a little. Mullen knows it. One, two count, one down, one man on. Line drive, oh, just past the outstretched hands of Smith into center field. Brings up the number three batter, number nine, flew out to center field in the first inning. High fly going foul, way out of play. Oh, Mullen comes in. Nice curve ball. Oh, two count. Batter steps out. Might be looking for a Alex Mullen curve ball here. Whoa, whoa, gets away from Rosa. Came in a little high. Pass ball, the runners move up to second and third. Still one out. One and two count. Ground ball, Harrington checks the runners. Nice play. Coach had the infield in and it paid off for him. Sharp grounder on a nice infield. Takes a nice hop into Harrington's glove. No advances.
All right, the number four hitter flew out high to shortstop last time. Runners on second and third. Uh, Mullen comes in with a quick strike. Oh, that looked good, and it's two strikes. Way ahead in the count with two strikes. Oh, a little low. Nice block by Rosa. One and two count. Wind picking up. Sun disappearing. Oh, inside. Trying to suck them into swinging at something. 2-2 two, two count. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world to not give this guy anything good to hit. So you walk him, makes it easy for your infield to make a play. Considering that the next batter struck out looking right after him. Weathersfield's crowd is increasing as they discover where to park. Probably up towards 20. Oh, yeah! Alex Mullen with a nice curveball brings it in, and 15 goes down looking for Mullen's third strike. So, the Polecats, two singles. They have runners on second and third. Mullen gets tough with them. Nice play in the infield, and he gets some escapes the inning. It's still 1 0 as we head to the top of the fourth. Okay. Leading off the top of the fourth. Lead off batter, center fielder, Chris Jablanca. The Eagles have only managed a hit and a error. Mullins a little more support than this. Jablanca flew out to short last time. Looks at ball two. By the time we get to park over there, we'd be getting hit by foul balls. It's not the best place. Oh, Jablanca uh, gets the green light on a 2 0 count and flies out to short. Left fielder, Miguel O'Leary. O'Leary's been up for I gotta say at least four games with the varsity. Playing left field. Shows bunt, pulls it back. And then varsity was shuffling around. Looking for the combination of outfielders to protect our pitchers. Oh Michael Larry ah, but into the wind. Out to center field. Brings up third baseman, number three batter, or number 12, David Clayton Thomas. Flew out to right field in the first inning. And he goes, another high pop fly in the infield. Shortstop comes over, catches it behind second base. Lefty for South Windsor has the Eagle batters baffled here. We're going to the top of the or top of the bottom of the fourth. South Windsor with a one nothing lead. Coming up to bat with their number five hitter to lead off. All right, as number twenty five, who struck out looking in the second inning. Comes to bat. We've got a few defensive changes as he fouls one off at third base. Chris Hock, Chris Hock, that's his father. Nick Hock takes over for David Thomas. Hock, another member of the infamous Windmill Hill Gang. Oh, one on one count. Mullen looking pretty warm there. Out in the left field. 
We have Dan Guads, younger brother of Muscle Man. Matt Guads over to Hawk. Hawk up with it. And oh, a nice scoop by Matt Garcia. Garcia with the scoop to save a potential base runner. Michael O'Leary has moved over from left to center. As number 14, and number, ooh, new batter, no, number 14, no, an old batter, who walked the last time and scored the only run. Mullins trying to get away with some low pitches. The ump's not buying any of it. Here's one, one of one. One hopper, Rosa blocks it. Out in center field, pretending he's not here, but we can see him. Foul ball, out of play down the third baseline is John Mullins, who also happens to live on Windmill Hill with his son, Alex, the pitcher. <laughs> Should be 2-2. Two, two. We'll see if the ump will help us out here. It looks like he's got two and two up there. Oh, tries to hold back. Harrington, Garcia goes over. He's out of there. Brings up the one, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh batter, number one, who reached uh, catcher's interference. And he lines one down the left field line. Guaz gets a bad jump on it. The ball gets by him, and he recovers in time. Harrington up with it. Number one in there with a hit to left field. All right, brings up number 16, who in the second inning, with the first hit of the game, drove in the only run. He's off and running on a hit and run. 16 fouls it off. Number one showed a lot of quickness getting out of the box there, not the box, out of the base. Mullen will take note of that. Moon keeps him honest with a toss over. Again. Sure handed Matt Garcia at first base. Oh, line drive, O'Leary there. Oh, he comes in, tries to back up, flicks off his glove. Number 16. It was a tough one, but he did break in, so it is an error. But you know what? Coach Rosanone shuffles out to the mound with two outs. There are runners on first and third. Bringing up the ninth batter who flew out to Orsini and right in the second inning. The umpire goes out to move it along. All right, number 30, who flew out, as I said, a little action in the Eagle Mound as Chris Terrell shuffles by with Puglisi. 
Runner takes second base on defensive indifference. You're too smart to fall for that play. So with runners on second and third, number 30, the ninth batter, number nine hitter rather. Oh, nice pitch by Mullen. Put a little pizzazz on that one. Ooh, they, oh, wow, I would have swung at that. One on one count. Oh, line drive, Orsini over, played him like he wrote the book on him. So again, a little action at the plate by the Polecats as they get a hit. and. Uh, I guess you'd have to say a hard hit error and they leave runners at first and third. Some nice pitching, some nice defense after all. The Eagles out as we head to the top of five. The Eagles still looking to tie it up as the Bobcats have a 1-0 lead. All right, the catcher, Zachary Rosa. Flow out to second base in the second inning. Looks at a strike. New pitcher. Another lefty, number 38, enters the game. One on one count. Uh, Winds are warming up over there, the varsity warming up over there. Good eye by Thomas. Two and one count. I mean by Rosa. Gets away. Three one count. Eagles looking to get base runners any which way we can. Rosa to be followed by Garcia. And Rosa worked a walk. Third base runner of the game. Not quite sure he's a threat to steal. A big presence. They'll hear him coming if he starts stealing. And he is. Look at him. He gets a big jump. Oh, yeah. What a jump he got. I think they did hear him coming. They got a little frightened and off they went. Wow. What a jump on a left-handed pitcher, no less. Good job by Zach Rosa. All right, so with no outs, Rosa in scoring position. Matt Garcia flew out to short last time. This is the first, first one of the ball, too? Yeah. So with a 2-0 and count, I think they're under instructions. Make them throw you a strike first. Hasn't found the plate yet. Oh, he gets the green light and swings through it. I wouldn't have bet that that was the call, but if they're not telling them to not swing. Huh? Oh, it is one. Oh, he had a strike on him. All right, good idea then. You only need one. Oh, and that was the one. He hits a gap. Garcia, he splits him. Rosa will score easily. Garcia looking at third, but will come in with a nice stand-up double. Hard hit ball. Like we said, you only need one. That's what he did. Nice job. Rosa coming all the way around. And Rosa did show speed, huh? Big dude. He's a football player. They must make him run a lot. All right, either the E.H. or the D.H. Stephen Ballard flew out to short last time. Takes a strike. Baglisi on deck. And a lefty here would be a great idea. Get Garcia over to third. Let Baglisi pop one out to right field like he did last time. Let's make another run. Little small ball. Shows butt. Nice one. Down the third baseline. Anybody at second? At first, he makes it over. 
Second baseman comes over. I meant to say anybody at first. The second baseman was coming over, but he got here slow. He didn't break. Ballard hustles down the line and beats it out. As Garcia over to third. So with no outs, big Andrew Puglisi coming to bat. Flew out to right last time. The big boy put a lot on the ball, just pound it out there. Let's get a run in. All right, Puglisi up, runners on first and third. Takes a strike. His job is to make contact. Kevin Smith, the shortstop, on deck. Tied up, 1-1. One, one. Ballard, oh, Ballard caught sleeping. Oh. I don't know who was coaching first base, but he should have told him, get out of here, at least get in a rundown. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Now with one out, Pug's got to do the job here. Oh, fastball. Pug swings through. One out. Oh, Bugs goes down swinging. All right. So with two outs, Kevin Smith, shortstop, coming up to bat. Single in the third inning for the first hit for the uh, Eagles. Beat one out, hit one deep to short. Garcia jumping off of third base. Nobody holding them tight there. Trying to rattle a pitcher, a little wild pitch. Oh, the ball gets loose, but not enough. Not enough, not far enough away. Smitty walking the count, working the count up to two and oh. Disciplined hitter here. Three zero count. Harrington waits on deck. Uh, out at first base really hurt the Eagles. Up, oh, Smitty looks at a rather low strike. <clears throat> Three and one. Smitty ready to swing now. Shows bunt, takes it away. Ooh, strike two. Got to get the bat going now. Oh, might have been ball four, but got to swing at those. That's the trouble. All right, so the Eagles managed to put a hit together, uh, two hits together. Pass ball, and uh, they're off and running. They got the game tied up as they head to the bottom of the fifth. All knotted up. One to one. Back on. All right, here we go. Leading off should be number three, the 10th hitter. Fouls one off. Mullen still working on the mound. 
this guy out looking in the third inning. Paying attendance for Weathersfield up to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen people. Not bad. coming in the bullpen. Oh, gets him swinging, tries to check his swing. Oh, could be reaching his limit on his pitch count. He's had to throw a lot of pitches in that second inning. Oh, boy, that looked nice. I don't know how you lay off that. No defensive changes. that I can see for Weathersfield. A little high. I can't read fingers. Two and one, three and one. Fly ball, boom, hits the tree and out of the reach of Dennis Harrington Sr., who will only walk 10 yards to, to pick up a ball. At least two strikes here in the dirt at a full count. And this guy, well, we don't know what he can do because he struck out his first time. I believe we're back to the top of the order. Number 19 hitting for number 13. Wind really kicking up here. Very unpleasant. Mullet. Oop. Rondonone moving his third baseman in on the grass. He shows bunt. Rosa goes foul. Rosa ready to pounce on that. Coach Chabon going out. how that was a foul ball probably because when he called foul it looked like it was still fair. Something went on. That Nick Chabot knows the rules. Older brother Jim tutored him on the ins and outs of Perhaps there was an interference call. On the batter, that is. But since we don't know much about baseball, we're just guessing out here in the peanut gallery. Well, no gain, no loss. South Winds are signing their paycheck. You can get fined for saying stuff like that, but since we don't have any money. <laughs> Hawk moves in to cover a bunt. Shows bunt. I'm not sure what the count was. I thought there were two strikes. But I know, 
out, but why are they worried about a bun? We're going to have to hire somebody with a clicker to keep track of balls and strikes. 2-2. Two, two. Three two. We had some kid at um is it over? Coaching staff not happy with that call. It looked like it was in there. Oh, he swings through as number three took off. Two count. Mullen throws over. Jesus, getting cold. <laughs> I can't say that. Loses him, walks him. Brings up their number two hitter, number 17. Flew out to second in the first, single in the third inning. He shows butt, gets it down foul. Polecats playing small ball, trying to regain the lead. Heard running back from the bullpen. Mullen over to second. Who sang it? Donna Summer? Yeah, she's always a good answer. Oh, bunt down the third baseline. Oh! Mullen looks at third, no play. Should have looked at one. It's number 20, bunts his way on. Number 20 was batting for number 17, so I was wrong when I told you what he did. That was his first at bat. So with yet an, another batter, another new batter coming up for South Windsor. Bases are loaded with no outs. Coach Chabon coming back from a visit to the mound. Yeah. <laughs> like the South Windsor sending their second shift in. 27 swinging through. Mullen's been in jammed up before and he pitched his way out of it. So let's see what the Eagles can do. A little defensive help here. In the dirt, Rosa, nice block. So the three new hitters for South Windsor have, uh, two of them, or two new hitters have caused all the problems so far. One and two count. 
be no suicide squeeze. Oh, Rosell bounces by. He doesn't get the glove down. Everybody advances. Plays in the background. No outs, now runners on second and third. And a line drive shot out, it's gonna drop in front. O'Leary up with it. Wow, what a gun, but number 20 was running all the way as two more runs score. It's number 27 with a two run RBI single. South Windsor puts across three runs here in the fifth. Alex Mullen, good, job, Alex. good effort. Comes out as Chris Terrell takes over with no outs and a man on first. We will now pause while our cameraman takes an authorized union break. There was a red button on this side. We don't even know if we're on. Is anything moving? Oh boy. Bomb shot out to left. Michael Leary with the catch. You think it's on? How can you tell? There's definitely a red light on there. Yeah. We actually got that, but. We were so confused we didn't know how to move out on a nice catch by Michael Leary in center field. You'll have to take our word for it. Runner takes off. Defensive indifference as he glides into second base. And this is yet another bat. ball. Puglisi with the catch. The only bad thing is Puglisi was outside the dugout walking by. <laughs> but he is a sure-handed catcher. Ground ball. Hawk lets it go. Kevin Smith. Oh, another nice scoop by Garcia. Nice play. Kevin Smith deep in the hole. And again, because the cameraman is not here, nobody moved the camera. But nice play by Kevin Smith. Uh, equally nice play by first baseman Matt Garcia. Think it picks all up that? Oh, it does? Oh, that's good. All right, number 14, still hitting. Walked in the second inning, grounded out to second base in the fourth. So Terrell comes in, gets two quick outs. Ball in the dirt, Rosa blocks it. Swings through. Come on up, help us out. What's the count? One and two. Terrell way ahead of him here. Right down the middle. Chris Terrell with a one, two, three relief of inning appearance. As we head to the top of the six, the Eagles now down four to one. As we have coming up to bat, Harrington, Orsini, and back to the top of the order. I guess we're back.
Are we back? Yeah, we're back. All right. Big Paul Matarazzo, number 44, in to hit for Dennis Harrington. On deck, Joe Leonardo. Here in the top of the sixth. Paulie with a good eye. Power he connects. I've seen him bang him off the wall. Oh, follows one back. Little herky jerky on that one. Two one count. Paulie again. Two two count. Two two to Big Pauly. Oh, Pauly! He lives up to his name over his head. No, wind knocks it down. Pauly with a nice swing, good mechanics, nice line drive shot. Got to hit them where they ain't. Boy, he hit that right on the screws though. Joe Alonardo hitting for Michael Orsini. Takes a strike on deck, Dan Guads. Leonardo in the dirt. Leonardo uh, fighting through an injury this year. I don't think he was able to swim this year. Got to do some off-season baseball work. Follows one back. Leonardo almost bit, holds back. With the Eagles need base runners. Left fielder Dan Guads. Brother of the famous or infamous Matt Guads. Mainstay of the Wethersfield Eagle football. Leonardo, whoa, gets back. Everybody else is all bundled up, Guad's here in shirt sleeves. Can't remember if this is the same pitcher, another new pitcher for South Windsor. Is it still a second one? I'm gonna say they got a lot of lefties. Nick Chavone pointing out Bach, second base up. Seems stunned by it all. Perhaps he was thinking about where he's going for dinner after he picks his check up. A lot of choices in South Windsor, evidently, for restaurants. Got to give it deep thought. Forgot to watch. Eleonardo off and running, and he is in there as the ball goes into center field, but not enough for Eleonardo to. Orsini running for Alonardo. Well, where were you when that change took place? Okay, so Alonardo evidently not as fast as I thought, and Orsini just as fast. All right.
see going for the r career run scoring total for f JV's. High pitch to Guads. As you can tell, the uh, announcing team needs all the help it can get, and there will be several job openings. Oh, Guads. He'll get the green light now as he looks at a strike. Who's coaching third? That's Harrington. And when did he make, when did he become a coach? Quad swings through and he strikes out. Number ten, Miguel Olei. First student. Runner in scoring position, two down. Cassini takes a strike. Probably heard Coach Rondino yelling to his runner to get back. Hard hit ball, oh, charity hop to the third baseman. The marimba band playing in the background. The Eagles go down in the sixth inning without scoring a run. And uh, South Windsor coming up to bat in the bottom of the sixth, leading four to one. All right, well, what you just saw, or maybe didn't see, depending on, that was a quick start by the ump, number 38, and only God knows who he is, because we don't have him in, uh, cracked one by a diving Dan Guads out in left field for a stand-up double to lead off the sixth inning. Brings up number 16. Well, who the heck did oh yeah, that, that guy hit for number one? Number 16 uh, got the RBI single in the second and reached on an error in the fourth. You can hear the music playing in the background over at the varsity field. What time is it anyway? 516. 516. Varsity game will be starting at 6 o'clock over there. The no parking law ground ball over to Kevin Smith. He's up with it and boop, he got him. Oh, well, let's look at that on film. We'll sell you the film, 16. Stop your jumping around. Nice play by Kevin Smith and a nice stretch by Matt Garcia. Runner advances to third base. As number 30, who has flown out to right field twice. If he flies out there this time, they'll probably like it because that'll give him another run. Oh, boy, that looked good. Yeah, we've been getting phone calls from our stay-at-home audience. Matt Barone has called twice now. He's been forewarned that we've only got so many arms to juggle. And sure enough, right field to Elinardo coming over. Just doesn't get there in time. It stayed in play, but it was a pretty far run. As 
we know number 30 is notorious for hitting him down the right field. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to catch that one. Be tough to recoup and make the throw in. Terrell. Sure enough, pop fly out to right. Just foul by five feet. Two strikes on the batter. It'd be nice to come with a payoff pitch here. Nope. Come on up, give us a call. Wind blowing right in. And it's cold and it's windy. And it's like full count. The payoff pitch. Oh, and he hits it sure enough to right field, but a line drive. Alonardo up with it. RBI single for number 30. So one down, another run in, makes it five to one, the pole cats. Number three, tenth batter. High inside. Shows bunt. Nice one to Terrell. Terrell over a second. Harrington gets over in the nick of time. A little late start, but he's there. Terrell times it nicely. A little action in the bullpen as Mike Orsini runs by. The protector for Ryan Melillo. Pop fly. Matt Garcia under it, makes the catch, and we are out of the inning. Uh, no, we're not done. All right, the Eagles with their last gasp here, chasing four runs as we head into the top of the seventh. The ump coming over in dangerous territory. A group of Weathersfield critique critic, critic, <laughs> critics over there. Uh, we will lead off with, I'm guessing Nick Hawk, um, Andrew Puglisi, and Matt Garcia for the seventh inning. Eagles needing four to tie to send this into extra inning. Are we on still? Yeah. Oh, turn us off. I've run out of things to say. They're warming up. All right. Hitting for David Clayton Thomas, Nicholas Hawk. Takes a strike. Nick didn't read the weather report today. He's dressed for a balmy day. Feel guilty. He looks at strike two. I've got two, oh, he's a hockey player. That explains everything. You're sort of, when you got the last name Hawk, you don't have much of a choice. He's used to the cold. Low, one and two to Nicholas Hawk of the Windmill Hill Gang. Oh, my knees are killing me in this cold weather. You know what's killing me is at the two-two. I went to a freshman game down in Stillman, sitting in my newer chair, because I've crushed the Yankee chair, spread it all out. I went on just to talk to some people. I come back, the chair's gone. <laughs> so if anybody from the freshmen are listening to this, I don't know why you would be. I want my chair back. Hawk makes contact. If he runs hard over the short, boom. 6-3. Brings up, is that Ryan Melillo? No, no, sir. 
Really? I didn't think he was catching anymore. Oh. Zach Rosa. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. He was just down here warming somebody up, I thought. Zach scored our Eagles only run today with some nifty base running. Oh, he pops one up. No. Nope. Plays out to short. Brings up first baseman Matt Garcia. Lined out to short or flew out to short and drove in uh, Rosa. A shot out to right uh, left center field, hit the gap for the Eagles only run. In the dirt. What time is it? We're not going to run anywhere. This is the. This is it. This is the seventh. This is it. Oh, okay. God. You've heard it, folks. I really need some help here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're all set. Yeah. Yeah. We're not playing nine. <laughs> I'm going to have to run. I'd have to leave. I'd have to leave now if you guys are running just to get there at the same time. Wow, that looked good. That looked like the last one he pounded out there. Wind blowing straight in on him. Oh, Matt Barone is in the audience with bags of food. Matt wearing his new Weathersfield High sweatshirt. Fouled back by Garcia. I think this year has taken its toll on Matt. His hair really turned gray. <laughs> Garcia works a walk. Brings up Ryan Melillo. Hitting for Stephen Ballard. Garcia, they're keeping him honest. I really don't think with two outs that we're thinking of stealing at this point. Just an outside guess. One oh. Swings through, one on one count. I'm about ready to put on my jacket over two sweatshirts. Melillo, hi, it's out of here. Into behind the backstop. One and two count. Two down, Garcia. On first, he'll probably be taken off now. Nope. He probably would have made that off speed pitch 2 2. On deck, big Andrew Puglisi punks. Lillo. Giving, making this guy earn his money. A huge gap pointed out by our analyst. Never say never, you can always come back. Popped up, catcher going back on it. Oh, geez. Victorino yesterday for the Red Sox. That's got to hurt. Melillo getting his money's worth at this bat, that's for sure. Keep in mind, what was it? Bristol Central this year it was down by six runs to Maloney High. Came up in the top of their seventh. They scored eight runs. So you can come back. Oh, Melillo, another one coming over to our area. 
Number 14, unwilling to hop the fence and give it all for the purple of pole calves. Matt Barone looking in there. If he grabs the ball, it'll never see daylight. God, if this isn't a full count, nothing is. Full count. They usually just hold a fist up. Full count. Hitter's pitch. Oh! And the ump, hungry, decides to leave. Melillo with a bat in his hand, questioning the call, and the ump backs away. So, the Eagles go down. South Windsor Polecats 5 to 1 as the camera crew will now run over to Volunteer Field. That's all from Cold South Windsor.